glued it and, and tied it to a screw right there. Then the top side of the block, I have my air coil and it's attached on one end to this screw and on the other end to this screw. Next, I'm going to take my soldering iron here with a little flux and solder. And I'm going to solder uh, one end here. Well, actually, I want to do it down here. I'm going to solder one end to this end of the coil and the other end, um, the other end over here to this screw. Like that. And then between these two screws, I'll have my uh, my my fuse or my uh, aluminum coil. No, what the hell am I saying? Uh, aluminum foil. All right. Okay, I got the setup here. You can see the aluminum foil and the two nails sticking out of the ends of the. Uh, Coil. The idea here is that the aluminum foil will break uh, as soon as it gets power and it will magnetize. And the two nails should be magnetized. Okay. I have the cord coming inside. Or I'm going to, I got a switch right here in the power bar to uh, energize it. Foil broke as planned, like a fuse. Um, it's about a meter. Uh, the aluminum foil is about a, a meter across this way. All right, let's see if these nails are now magnetized. And as you see, they are at opposite polarities. You see the stuck together from the top as soon as I pull them out. Pretty cool. This would be the opposite ends here as well. So we got north, north, south, north, south. And those are going to go on the ends of the the bar, which I just spray painted all the wood parts. That'll be the next step. Okay, so now what I want to point out is that I have the magnetized nails uh, in place on the ends of the bar. They're not directly at the very end because according to the uh, videotape of the recreated device, um, the bar seems to extend beyond the, the railing. I have of the recreated model is that the rail, the railing looked to be, uh, looked to where they looked like they cut out um, sections of two different uh, PVC pipes and placed those two sections on top of uh, plexiglass. Because the plexiglass, you can actually see the two little holes where the probably where the connections are for the electrodes. And the PVC pipe would have to be fairly large, I guess, well, maybe six inches uh, diameter. If you were to cut off two meters of it, place it on top of... Uh... The next part of this I'm going to do is the metal around the uh, front perimeter here in the sides. Apparently there's not there's none of this in the back side. Only the sides in the front, not behind. And I'm thinking it's because the pots are connected to this uh, mesh here, which goes around the other side, and I think both pots are connected to it from right here 
In any case, so that's going to be the next part. And what I did is I, I couldn't find any this particular pattern here. Uh, but I did find uh, some aluminum mesh at Home Depot. And uh, so this is the type that I got. And I got this sheet for about $10. Okay, after cutting out the perforated uh, aluminum sheet, uh, this is what I have. And I'm just going to just place this around here after measuring and cutting. Seems to fit pretty good. Okay, I took this apart so you can see the pieces. Uh, basically this is the, the construction here with the pots and the aluminum on the pots and the aluminum on the horseshoe magnet. Of course these will fit you know inside here and uh, this one shows you the it'll be like more like this I guess Shut that on there. I'm gonna make a, a set of these for the base as well these are just lids um, but I want to make some so that they have these grooves to separate those from the inside and then the bar here will fit on top like this and these pieces up here put up there on top and maybe some on the bottom um, anyway that's basically my construction uh, this is uh, what I have now is basically what it is uh, as far as the reconstruction video of the machine